Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to do a practice session to learn more in detail about our uh, one of the input activities that is click, click activity. So click activity we already learned in our uh, previous videos about input activities. So when whenever we want to uh, use uh, uh, mouse click, Double click, click on a UI element or field, we use click activity, right? Uh, now let us uh, do how, to, I mean, uh, see how to use this click activity in UiPath Studio. So I have uh, created a sequence. So let us have a click activity here okay so this is the click activity you could see it is asking for indicate target on screen and then or if if any any uh, screen is already available on object repository we can use reuse this from the object repository and you could see we already learned about the uh, properties of click activity that that, um, that is click type mouse button right so and key modifiers so these three are the main um, properties click type mouse button key modifiers also, we can, we have a delay and others, timeout, right? These are the common properties, but main properties are click type, mouse button and key modifiers. Now, let's see how to use this click activity. So, I'm going to uh, use uh, the WI application. I think I, you already covered about this WI. If uh, for uh, people who doesn't know about this application, uh, this is an application provided by UiPath. We can download this from our uh, UiPath Academy. If you are not aware of this, I can share the link how to download this. So instead of this, you can use any of the available browsers, uh, any of the available applications, web applications. Okay. So now my target is to click on this field. So I'm doing it manually, right? So let us use this application. Now, I am going to uh, indicate the target on the screen. Let's see how it works. Click on this indicate target on screen. Current activity must be added inside a use application browser activity. So you can see this, right? So it is not knowing to which application it is supposed to uh, tag with. So that is the reason we are supposed to use the click activity inside a use application or browser activity. I hope you got this right. So whenever we are working with any of the web application or any of the uh, desktop application, we are supposed to have a use application browser container. So this works as a container. Okay. So we are supposed to use the input methods, in, input activities inside the container. I hope you got this, right? So this works as a container. Now, in, in the container, whenever I give, give um, I add this to any of the application, all the properties, all the activities, whatever being there in the uh, container will take the same application. Now, let let us indicate the application so this is my application i am indicating this right don't reuse so this is the application now you could see here it is automatically adapting uh, the containers target element right now i would like to select this particular field okay so this is how I'm going to use the click activity. So 
since I got an anchor also I'm just confirming this okay so I have given a target element here in click now target is fine I would like to make it as a double click okay now and then whether it is a left button or right button let us use left button first then we'll go for the right one okay let us let us execute this okay you could see here it's been executed now let me change it to single and right button okay you could see the change right it, when when I click here in uh, using right button, this cut, copy, paste came, right? Same way. So, in such scenarios, we are supposed to use this option, this properties. Now, let us use left, single and let us give some key modifiers, okay? Alt, Control, Shift, Windows and then control shift i think control shift windows will close the window i guess so this is this way we can use the click type mouse button and key modifiers along with the delays we can keep some delay before executing this or after executing this and we can verify it, uh, whether it is executed or not um, because after clicking maybe I am expecting something to come uh, forward so in such scenario we can use this uh, verify execution also if you want to know more about this particular feature this particular property we can you can please uh, watch the video where I have covered the complete details about the verify execution feature okay so I think uh, you, go, you got a uh, clear information on this uh, click activity input activity if you like this video, please do share and share with your friends and colleagues and do subscribe our channel for more videos. This will definitely encourage me to come up with new content with more and more practice sessions. Thank you so much for your support. Meet you again with next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.